What if history were to turn on its head and the colorful rhythms of Africa's wild landscapes, and many civilizations were the creators of a new chapter in which the mysterious continent of Africa, having once been conquered, now rises to colonize the seemingly unstoppable force that is China? European colonial masters have colonized African countries for centuries. However, the notion of the reverse scenario, Africa colonizing other nations, remained unexplored. Surprisingly, this concept is not fiction but a factual reality. Africa indeed colonized what is now modern-day China. Yet, this colonization was markedly unconventional compared to the familiar narrative of colonial history. The remarkable achievement of establishing a presence in China was a formidable task, but for Africa, this colonization was distinct as it occurred naturally, devoid of any force or coercion. Welcome to Africa Info Hub. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. Recent research conducted by Chinese scientists and multinational academics has contested the long-standing Chinese belief that their people evolved separately from the rest of the world, stemming from Peking Man, a pale-skinned remote evolutionary ancestor in northern China. This comprehensive study suggests an alternative origin, proposing that the Chinese population might have roots in East Africa instead of descending from Peking Man. This challenges the established narrative regarding the ancestry of the Chinese people. Many people in China were shocked to learn the truth, especially those with strong racial prejudices. It forced them to face an unanticipated reality, that they were descended from black African Negroids, their revered ancestors. Leading an international team in an ambitious research project was Professor Jin Li, a well-known geneticist in China. At the National Human Genome Center in Shanghai, Professor Li's groundbreaking DNA tests produced clear data that the majority of China's gene pools originated in Africa, refuting the initial goal of demonstrating the distinct evolution of the Chinese people. This shocking discovery disproved conventional wisdom on Chinese descent by establishing their East African origins. The findings from this research solidified the notion that Africans constituted the primal lineage, with all other racial groups emerging as mere adaptations of the original African Negroid population. Additionally, compelling evidence indicates successive waves of African migrations into Asia over the past two to five thousand years. These migrations played a pivotal role in catalyzing the establishment and growth of a sophisticated, culturally rich Chinese society. Again, in his work Anacalypsis, English historian Godfrey Higgins delves into how Africans left a significant imprint on the world. He delineates two Ethiopian groups, one situated east of the Red Sea, and the other to the west. Higgins posits the existence of a powerful black nation that once wielded influence over a considerable expanse of Asia, during an ancient, pre-recorded historical epoch. Emphasizing his belief, Higgins asserts that the origins of all gods are rooted in the black race. Depictions of divinity in historical records often portray traits such as a black complexion and woolly hair, symbolizing divine attributes, an aspect Higgins poignantly terms the hair of the gods. The first settlers in Asia were portrayed as small black pygmies, which caused some renowned academics to argue whether or not some southern Africans were direct descendants of the Chinese population. Renowned author of The Destruction of Black Civilization, Chancellor Williams, maintains that the Xia and Shang dynasties, which are regarded as the oldest in China, were sprung from black Africans. These dynasties combined fundamental elements of Chinese medical theory with the introduction of the solar calendar. As evidenced by Funan, the first kingdom in Southeast Asia, founded by a group of black people known as Cambones, African influence reached farther than China. For the Chinese, the African settlers ushered in a revolutionary period in which they imparted knowledge and skills in reading, animal husbandry, marriage rituals, medicine, spirituality, 
Calendrical systems, administration through the establishment of the first empires, and other fundamental areas that mold modern society. The African colonization process was not limited to China, it spread throughout the world, improving both the material and spiritual conditions of living. The sad thing is that it seems like modern culture has forgotten these important African contributions that helped build our civilization. Fortunately, though, the essence of their contributions is still ingrained in us and will never disappear. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.